Let's get started. Number 10. The Immortal Blender Myth Here's a fun fact. The anti-aging smoothie was never invented by a nutritionist. It was born in a marketing department. Every era has its version of the eternal youth potion. The Victorians drank mercury tonics, which worked great if you wanted to glow from radiation poisoning. Today's version just tastes better and kills slower. The idea is seductive, that a single glass of blended spinach, kale, and collagen powder could undo the decades you spent eating stress for breakfast and sleeping four hours a night. But scientifically, that's like thinking a car wash rebuilds your engine. Let's talk ingredients. Blueberries, antioxidant rich, sure, but they're not time machines. Antioxidants help reduce oxidative stress. Think of it as molecular rust. They don't delete the rust, they just slow it down. Spinach adds folate and magnesium, which support DNA repair. Collagen powder, that's the industry's favorite placebo. Your stomach breaks it down long before it ever reaches your skin. The truth, your body doesn't care about anti-aging. It cares about balance. What these smoothies actually do is reduce inflammation, improve gut health, and stabilize energy. All things that make you feel younger, which, ironically, is the only kind of youth that lasts. Drink it for the fiber, the hydration, and the smug feeling of having your life together. But if you think it's reversing time, remember, even Benjamin Button had bad days. Number nine, collagen, the great protein plot. If you've seen someone on social media gulping down a beige smoothie with the caption, collagen for youth, you've witnessed one of the greatest rebrands in modern nutrition. Collagen used to be the stuff that made old Jello jiggle. Now it's a $10 billion beauty industry mascot, claiming to erase wrinkles and turn your skin into glass. Here's the science, or the marketing pretending to be science. Collagen is a protein made of amino acids, glycine, proline, and hydroxyproline. When you drink a collagen smoothie, your stomach doesn't just ship it directly to your face. It breaks it apart into those same amino acids it would get from chicken, beans, or tofu. So, technically, your body can use those pieces to make collagen, but only if it feels like it. Your body prioritizes survival, not selfies. Now, here's where things get spicy. Some studies show that collagen peptides, those pre-broken down versions, can increase skin elasticity slightly, but the catch? You'd need to take them consistently for months, like a religion, and even then, the difference is subtle. Think better lighting, not new face. Th there's another twist. Vitamin C is the real boss here. Without enough vitamin C, your body can't synthesize collagen at all. So, your expensive powder is just fancy dust, unless you're also eating citrus or berries. Collagen smoothies can support healthy skin, but only as part of a bigger system. Good nutrition, sleep, and zero belief in TikTok immortality. Otherwise, you're just buying expensive soup. Number eight, antioxidants. The overhyped bodyguards. You've heard the pitch, antioxidants stop aging. Sounds cool, right? Like tiny Marvel heroes fighting wrinkles in slow motion. Except, real biology isn't a superhero movie. It's more like office politics. Here's the deal. Your body naturally produces free radicals, unstable molecules that damage cells over time. Antioxidants neutralize them, which sounds heroic until you realize you actually need some free radicals. They trigger your immune system, repair muscle, and help kill infected cells. Go too far trying to eliminate them, and your body gets lazy, like firing all your security guards because one of them was rude. Research from the University of Wisconsin and the National Institutes of Health shows that taking large antioxidant supplements can actually reduce your lifespan in some cases. Why? Because your body stops adapting to stress. It's like wrapping yourself in bubble wrap, Safe, yes, but you'll never build muscle that way. The real anti-aging magic is balance. Natural antioxidants from food, blueberries, spinach, cacao, green tea, don't overdose you. They work in harmony with your body's internal defense system. Smoothies rich in these ingredients help modulate oxidative stress, not erase it. So, no, antioxidants won't turn you into Paul Rudd, but they will help your mitochondria stop acting like exhausted interns. And that's honestly the best trade-off you can get. Bottom line? The goal isn't to stop aging, it's to stop accelerating it. Your smoothie should be your ally, not your delusion. Number seven, the green detox delusion. Ah yes, the word detox, the most profitable lie in the smoothie industry. Somewhere along the way, blended spinach became synonymous with removes your sins. Every influencer seems to have that one detox smoothie that supposedly flushes out toxins, resets your system, and makes your skin glow like a newborn angel sounds holy. Too bad it's scientifically useless. Let's clear this up. Your body already has a built-in detox system. It's called your liver and kidneys. 
They've been quietly processing every bad decision you've ever made, from tequila shots to gas station sushi, since birth. And they do it way better than any blender. You can't detox your body by drinking kale. That's like trying to wash your car by staring at it lovingly. The truth is, those so-called detox symptoms people brag about, headaches, fatigue, dizziness, aren't toxins leaving your body. They're signs of dehydration, caffeine withdrawal, or your body begging for real food. And those cleansing effects? Mostly from fiber, making your intestines do their job for once. Now, to be fair, green smoothies do help your body detox, indirectly. Chlorophyll, fiber, and antioxidants reduce inflammation and support your liver's workload. But that's support, not sorcery. Your liver doesn't need a reset button. It needs hydration, sleep, and less processed junk. So, the next time someone says, this smoothie cleansed my soul, remember, your body isn't a clogged drain. It's a self-cleaning biochemical masterpiece. You just have to stop feeding it garbage and calling it toxins. Bottom line, you can't blend away regret. But you can drink something green and pretend you've changed. Number 6. The Ice Cold Myth If you've ever seen someone post their frosty anti-aging smoothie and thought, wow, that looks refreshing, here's the twist. Your body hates it. It's not refreshing. It's a microscopic panic attack. Here's why. Your digestive system operates best at around body temperature. Warm, efficient, and ready to extract nutrients like a tiny factory. When you pour in something ice cold, your body's first move is to heat it up before digestion can even begin. That burns energy and slows down nutrient absorption. In traditional Chinese medicine, and now increasingly in modern metabolic research, cold drinks are said to shock your gut, reducing circulation and delaying stomach emptying. Translation, that frosty smoothie might be making you look and feel sluggish. Now, this doesn't mean you have to drink your smoothie like soup, but think about what's inside. If it's packed with frozen fruit, ice cubes, and almond milk straight from the fridge, you're sending your internal organs into a mini cryotherapy session without the beauty benefits. Warm or room temperature smoothies, on the other hand, keep your metabolism active and your digestion smoother. Even more fascinating, warm drinks slightly raise your core temperature, which triggers thermogenesis, the process your body uses to burn calories and improve circulation. It's the same reason why hot tea after a meal feels oddly satisfying. Your body is literally running better. So, next time you make your smoothie, skip the ice mountain, let it warm up a little, or blend with room temp ingredients. You'll still get the nutrients, but without your stomach yelling, why is it snowing in here? Your skin and metabolism will thank you quietly, because they'll actually be able to function. Number 5. The Protein Panic At some point, the wellness industry decided more protein equals more youth. Now, every anti-aging smoothie recipe looks like a chemistry experiment. Whey, pea, hemp, collagen, egg white, soy isolate. Pick your flavor of confusion. Protein is essential, yes. It repairs tissues, builds muscle, and keeps your metabolism running like a well-oiled machine. But too much protein, especially in powdered form, can have the opposite effect of what you want. Instead of slowing aging, it can quietly accelerate it. Here's how. When you consume excess protein, your body produces more IGF-1, insulin-like growth factor 1, a hormone that promotes growth. Sounds good, until you realize that growth doesn't stop at muscles. It also includes the growth of damaged or precancerous cells. Several longevity studies, including work from Dr. Walter Longo at the University of Southern California, show that people who eat high-protein diets, especially from animal sources, before age 65 tend to age faster biologically. The cells divide more rapidly, and your metabolic clock ticks louder. The sweet spot? Moderate protein about 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight. Enough to maintain muscle and skin elasticity, but not enough to make your cells start behaving like teenagers on energy drinks. And remember, protein powder isn't magic fairy dust. Many brands contain artificial sweeteners, heavy metals, or microplastics from packaging. If your smoothie tastes like birthday cake batter, it's not a health drink, it's dessert in disguise. A better move, blend real food sources, chia, oats, Greek yogurt, nuts. You'll get protein plus fiber, vitamins, and the satisfaction of eating something that didn't come from a lab wearing sunglasses. Your body doesn't need more powder. It needs less panic. Number 4. The Fiber Fantasy Fiber has become the quiet hero of every wellness video. People talk about it like it's some secret elixir, the ingredient that'll clean you out and balance your gut while you sip your way to immortality. But here's the hilarious truth. Most people brag about fiber without actually understanding what it does. Fiber doesn't clean you like a car wash. It works more like a traffic cop for your digestion, 
directing things, keeping order, and making sure nothing crashes. There are two main kinds, soluble and insoluble. Soluble fiber in oats, apples, chia, flax, dissolves in water and feeds your gut bacteria, helping them produce short-chain fatty acids, the compounds that literally lower inflammation and slow aging. Insoluble fiber in leafy greens, seeds, and skins of fruits adds bulk and keeps your system moving so you don't, well, explode from the inside. Here's the catch. Those store-bought smoothies that claim to be high fiber, most of them aren't. The moment you blend fruits and veggies, the insoluble fiber breaks down. And if you strain it for that smooth texture, you've just filtered out the best part. What you're left with is a vitamin drink wearing a fiber costume. Fiber is crucial because it talks directly to your gut microbiome, that invisible civilization of bacteria deciding how you age. Studies from Harvard and Stanford show that people with diverse gut bacteria have lower inflammation, better skin elasticity, and even improved cognitive function. Basically, your gut health determines how old your brain feels. So, if your anti-aging smoothie doesn't make you chew a little, you're doing it wrong. Embrace texture. Add chia seeds, oats, or spinach stalks. The crunchier it feels, the more your microbiome is throwing a party. And remember, your skin health starts in your gut, not your mirror. Number three, the sleep smoothie scam. If you've seen the viral anti-aging bedtime smoothie, you've probably noticed the claims, boosts melatonin naturally, repairs skin overnight, wake up glowing, in reality, you'll probably just wake up needing to pee at 3 a.m. Let's debunk this. Sleep is, without question, the most powerful anti-aging process the human body has. During deep sleep, your brain cleans itself through the glymphatic system, a literal flush that removes toxic waste proteins like beta amyloid, the same stuff linked to Alzheimer's. Your body releases growth hormone, repairs DNA damage, and even restores collagen production. But no smoothie, no matter how many bananas or almonds you throw into it, can replace that process. Many sleep smoothie recipes contain ingredients like tart cherry juice, bananas, or almonds because they're rich in tryptophan, magnesium, and melatonin precursors. That's fine, they can support sleep quality, but they can't force your brain to regenerate if you're doom scrolling under blue light until 2 a.m. And here's where it gets ironic. Drink too much liquid before bed and you'll interrupt the very sleep you're trying to optimize. Your bladder doesn't care about your skincare routine, also, a sugary bedtime smoothie spikes your insulin, which actually suppresses melatonin and messes with your circadian rhythm. So instead of looking younger, you'll just look tired with vitamins. The truth? You can't hack sleep with a blender. You can only support it with magnesium-rich foods, less caffeine, and actual darkness. Smoothies can be your allies during the day, but at night, the most anti-aging act you can perform is this. Turn off your phone, close your eyes, and let your mitochondria clock out for once. If youth had a sound, it'd be silence at 10 p.m. Number two, the placebo of glow. Let's be honest, half the reason people drink anti-aging smoothies isn't for health, it's for aesthetic hope. You wanna see that glow in the mirror, that mystical dewy skin that makes you look like you sleep inside a humidifier. And that's fine, we all want to glow. The problem is that most of the glow you see online comes from ring lights and filters, not cellular miracles. Here's where psychology kicks in. The placebo effect isn't a weakness, it's one of the most powerful biological tools you have. When you believe that your smoothie makes you younger, your stress hormones drop, your posture improves, and your face naturally relaxes. That alone changes your skin tone and eye brightness. Studies from Harvard's MindBody Institute actually found that people who believed they were practicing healthy habits, even when they weren't doing much differently, had lower cortisol and blood pressure. So, yes, your glow might partially be psychological, but that doesn't make it fake. It just means your brain is an underrated skincare product. The real glow happens when your body isn't under chronic stress. Because cortisol is the true anti-glow chemical. It breaks down collagen, inflames your skin, and makes your eyes puffier than a late-night ramen binge. That's why routines matter more than ingredients. The act of preparing your smoothie, choosing the fruit, blending it mindfully, enjoying it slowly, tells your nervous system, I'm safe. And that's when your body shifts from survival mode to repair mode. So next time someone asks if your smoothie really works, tell them yes, because you believe it does. And science agrees that belief is part of biology. Sometimes, confidence is the most potent vitamin of all. Number one, the real fountain of youth. Here's the part no influencer wants to admit. The ultimate anti-aging smoothie doesn't exist because it's not what's in your blender, it's what's in your routine. You could drink spinach smoothies until your veins turn green, but if you're chronically stressed, underslept, glued to a screen, and allergic to sunlight, 
your cells are aging faster than your followers can double tap. Longevity researchers, like Dr. David Sinclair at Harvard and Dr. Andrew Huberman at Stanford, agree on one thing. Aging isn't a disease, it's a system malfunction. And it's fixable through consistent boring habits. Sleep deeply, eat whole foods, move daily, expose yourself to morning sunlight, and manage stress like it's your job. Those habits reset your circadian rhythm, balance your mitochondria, and activate genes that repair your DNA, something no powder or beauty blend can buy. In other words, the most powerful anti-aging elixir is discipline, not dragon fruit. Of course, a well-made smoothie can be a ritual, not a gimmick. When you fill it with real ingredients, spinach, berries, flaxseed, oats, turmeric, maybe a dash of humor, you're not drinking youth, you're reinforcing it. You're saying to your body, I care enough to fuel you instead of fix you later. And that, ironically, is what makes you look younger. Not escaping time, but respecting it. So yes, make your smoothie. Sip it slowly. Enjoy the fact that you're doing something kind for your future self. But remember, the real anti-aging effect comes from living a life that doesn't make you want to escape your own timeline. That's it for today. I'll be doing similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.